What's up, America? Welcome back to the Robbie Rage Show. I'm your host, Robbie Rage. I took the last couple weeks off because I was involved in some proactive situations, like I'm sure most of you were. But tonight's day, we're going to be speaking about smart meters. So what are smart meters, you ask? Smart meters are the newest technology that our electric companies think it's okay to hook up to the side of our house without our consent. They say it saves electricity, but let me tell you something, it's not saving anything. All it's doing is adding to our electric bill by sometimes as much as 50%. Why is this such a big controversy? I'll tell you why, because basically every state in America is suing their electric companies, including PG&E, to get these spy meters off the side of our house. Not only that, there are lawsuits all across America for the adverse health effects that these things are having on our children, okay? Let me tell you something, lack of sleep, chronic fatigue syndrome, chronic epilepsy bro counties and states all over america are trying to ban this right now about 10 counties in california have banned it so far michigan's working on it florida's working on it there are a bunch of other states that are working on banning it we need to do it in new york now as soon as possible it's already been on our houses for too long we need to get rid of these things as soon as possible and if you want to know the truth nbc news says that these things are put on our house to spy on us that's nbc bro that ain't me saying it so the smart meter, basically this new technology that's there to save us electricity, replacing our old inadequate analog meter, and they put this cool little new digital one that has a smartphone in it that sends all signals back to the electric company, tells us what's going on. That's cool, right? Yeah, that's cool. You think that's cool? No, that's bullshit. That's called spying on you. You want to ask, how are these smart meters following us around? Basically what they're doing is they're building a, a pretty basic profile of our everyday living patterns, man. From everything we do, from how many times we open a microwave, from how many seconds we use it for, to how many times we go into the refrigerator, how many times we turn on this, you know, anything that's electrically operated, whether it be your computer, your sink, if it's got the hot water heater that's electronically controlled, anything you plug into your wall, your cell phone, how long you charge it for, everything. It knows your patterns. It knows when you're awake. It knows when you're asleep. It's given a detailed information back to the electric company. And any electric company can do whatever they want with that information. They can give it to anybody, commercial services. They can give it to investigative services. They can give it to whoever they want against your consent. It's a search warrant that you didn't agree to, that no judge signed, that's being used against you. Now you gotta probably come up with some fucking excuse like, oh, they put it on my house, so it's probably okay. No, it's not okay. It's a piece of equipment that doesn't even have a UL rating. Now, for anybody out there that doesn't have a clue about electricity, a UL is a United Laboratories rating. Basically, every piece of electrical equipment in this country needs to have one. This doesn't. And they don't even have a CSA, which is a Canadian Standards Association issue. It has nothing. It's against FCC regulations, but it's still on the side of your house. It's still releasing RF microwave pulses, EMR, electromagnetic radiation, and fucking the air up, sending microwaves everywhere through your house with a 30 mile range. Did you, did you know that the average basic model has a 30 mile range? More than 10 times the average radiation that's released from a standard walkie-talkie is going through your house every few seconds, communicating with every device that you just bought recently that has smart technology built into it. This thing is spying on you. It's in your house, violating your privacy. And you think that's all right? Because you're a bunch of fucking lamos who drank too much fluoride. How come you allow us? How come you allow unwarranted searches and seizures of your electronic information all in the name of fighting terrorism all in the name of I have nothing to hide what is it gonna do to me let me tell you something everybody's got something to hide I don't give a shit if it's the most mundane piece of information like you gave your little nephew a little bit of wine on Christmas time or you went over to Delaware and bought some clothes on the cheap without paying taxes guess what that's called tax evasion all felonies bro but you sit there and accept it and these are the most innocent things that can happen anywhere in this country but they're being recorded, taped, stored, and documented by security agencies all over this country. If you got nothing to hide, why would you bother to put a privacy setting on your Facebook account? Why would you bother to put a security code on your cell phone? For that matter, I could go as far as to say, why would you bother to put blinds and curtains in your house? I'll tell you why. Because you value your privacy, man. Don't give it away for bullshit. All right, everybody, the Robbie Rage Challenge of the Week is this. I need you to do what I'm asking you. It's not that big. If you have one of these smart meters on your house already, go out and do what you can to get it removed. 
call LiPo, call PG&E, call whatever your electric company is and see what kind of thing you can do to opt out of this or get it removed to get your analog meter back. It's going to be hard. It's not happening that easy, but there are a lot of opt-out situations going on around the country that you can get involved with. Not only that, if you don't have one of these things on your house, your challenge is to go out and stop this from going on further because the more this happens, the more there's going to be a total control grid and it's going to be all of our responsibilities that have happened. Act up now and do the right thing. And for all my radicals out there, removing this thing yourself is a felony, so please, I don't advise you to do that. But find out what you can do to get it removed ASAP, brother. It's not your electric company's right to install a surveillance system on your house. It's not their right to spy on you and then sell or give that information to anybody they want to. This is against our Fourth Amendment rights. Learn your rights, and then you'll know what the fuck is happening. For all you DNRs out there, for what that means is Democrats and Republicans or Democrats and Republicans, your two-party system is a pile of horse shit. It's a fucking illegal paradigm fucking this country up and all you can do is sit back and go, it was Democrats' fault, it was Republicans' fault. No, it wasn't, it was your fucking fault because you're a sucker.